October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and that often includes child abuse. From emotional to physical, the epidemic can take many different forms. That's why prevention is important. And here in Central Florida, one event will work to get results against child abuse one T at a time. And joining us this morning, we're welcoming back Danielle Abbey. It's Thank so you. good to see you again, Danielle, from the community-based care of mm -hmm. Central Florida. And last uh, a few weeks ago, we talked about the, the Hidden Rock mm -hmm. campaign. Oh, yeah. How did that go? Oh, that was fantastic. Um, all 200 rocks were found. Wow. I went back to see where mine or hidden because I had them pretty good but <laughs> now the community got so involved and the fact that everyone rallied around child abuse yeah. prevention like that was incredible. So now you have another big event going on and it is uh, for our kids. So, uh, so tell me about how that whole event's going to go. Yeah, so four is F-O-R-E mm -hmm. because we love puns. <laughs> <laughs> we have our inaugural golf tournament that is happening next Friday, October 26th at Tamaquan Golf and Country Club. And for us, we're really excited because it's more than just a day out that's on the green. Uh, it's more than just any golf tournament that you go to. Uh, for us, it's the opportunity to get the community involved with child abuse prevention. It's considered a national public health crisis despite the fact that it's so preventable. Mm -hmm. And so being able to raise awareness and to raise funds to ensure the safety and provide permanence and look after the well-being of our children. And of course, we're still looking for 25 people who are interested in golfing, whether you're an individual, whether you're a foursome, whether you're like me and can't play putt-putt and always <laughs> hit your balls in a lake, uh, you're an amateur, you're a pro, or whatever it is, uh, we just invite everyone to come out. We have some really cool activities that are happening at the holes, uh, like a lemonade stand that might have a little more than just lemonade in them, Ooh. or the opportunity to run a brand new car courtesy of iRide and Sanford if you get a hole in one. Ooh. And so really just, you know, come out, come join us. If you can't be there, get a whole sponsorship, you know, whatever way that you want to yeah. get involved. We want to have you there, and so we're always open to ideas. And you said this is obviously about so much more than golf. This is really getting that conversation started. And, you know, we talked a little bit about the statistics last mm -hmm. time you were here, and the statistics of children that are abused, I think, are much higher than people realize. Right. We have one in six boys and one in four girls that will be sexually abused before their 18th birthday. Um, when it comes to abuse, a lot of people don't realize that it happens just as often mm -hmm. as men and women. And so one of the great things about For Our Kids is we look at our demographics, specifically on social media, and as women between the ages of 25 and 54 that tend to express interest. But golf is a male-dominated field, mm -hmm. and so it allows us to be able to bridge that gap and also get men involved as well. A lot of times when you look at popular media, there's the, there's the misconception that men cannot be primary caregivers. In our case, men don't think that they're able to be single and be a foster parent. Uh, when in reality, I know someone who was 25 and became a foster parent and then adopted at 27. And so being able to really spread that message and helping men uh, be able to make that decision for their family if it's a great opportunity for them and if that's something that they would like to look more into. And at Community-Based Care of Central Florida, you guys have a long-term approach. It's not just addressing immediate needs, and that's important. Right. Um, we serve about 8,000 children, if you look mm -hmm. at our fiscal year of July 2017 and July 2018. And that's a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, that's just an mm -hmm. orange, Osceola, and Seminole alone. So when you're looking at 8,000 of the kids that we assist, it's so important to figure out how you're able to prevent them from coming into foster care in the first place. Mm -hmm. And so that really starts at prevention. And what people don't realize is that we want to work with families in any way that we can because children belong in homes. They belong with families. And so whether it is looking at the stress factors that tend to lead to abuse and neglect and how we're able to eliminate those, it's not just stepping in at the final mm -hmm. hour. It's what can we do before it even gets to that point in the first place. So quickly, where can we find more information if we want to get involved, get in on the tournament, or anything that uh, community-based community care is doing? So forourkids.com, and again, that's for, F-O-R-E. Uh, you're able to sign up, uh, whether you're an individual or a foursome, or you want to be a whole sponsor. Uh, right now, we're about $4,800 short of our fundraising goal. And so just by being able to help out and go spin a day on the green yeah. and just have a really fun day, you are able to help the kids in your community. And we really invite you to step in and step up and see what you can do to help provide that change in a child's life. Let's hopefully get yeah. to make that happen. Mm -hmm. Thank right. you, Danielle. Thank you.